Alrighty guys, we have some new wheels here here in the studio here, which of course is my living room here. Basically my living room is looking like a straight up bike shop, mechanic shop, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, let's get cracking. As you guys can see, elite wheels. So let's see what we have here. So we have some uh, tubeless valves, we have some uh, tubeless uh, rim tape, as well as a tire lever, which is a really nice touch. Okay, gotta take them all together. Ooh, very nice, very, very nice. We got some elite drive wheels here. This appears to be a uh, 45 millimeter rim depth here. Um, gotta install the rim tape here. Pop that off. Of course, we have to do a quick free hub sound test here. Wow, that is exceptionally loud. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Your boy has finally gotten a pair of Elite Wheel Drive Disc Wheels. You guys have been asking about this in the comments and on Instagram for quite some time, so I'm hoping that your boy can finally deliver. So of course, in this video, guys, we're gonna be doing a review on these wheels. We're gonna be talking about the specs and just some of my thoughts on these wheels as well. Oh, and by the way, if you are new to my channel, my name is Patrick Lino, and I am a cyclist here in the Chicagoland area who builds bikes, who does bike reviews, and if you really wanna support my channel, then rather than liking or subscribing to this channel, maybe just buy me a gift card to my favorite restaurant. Hooters, he likes going to Hooters for the wings, allegedly. So without further ado, let's begin. So a couple of things before we get started. Now, number one, I am borrowing these wheels courtesy of Elite Wheels 6, which this company is an elite wheel distributor for the greater Toronto, Canada area because apparently elite wheels themselves, they don't believe that my YouTube channel or me or my branding is worth their time. Apparently I'm not popular enough to review these wheels from them directly, despite the fact that I've basically reviewed all of the wheels out there, basically everything from Envy to Windspace to Far Sports, all the things that you guys wanna see. But I'm not a hater like that. I don't wanna become Hollywood or become a diva like that, but just no elite wheels. You guys will pay for this later. And so I ask that if you guys are interested in Elite Wheels, rather than contact Elite Wheels directly, I ask that you please contact Elite Wheels 6, the distributor, since they are the ones using their own resources and expenses to loan me out these wheels. And the second thing I do wanna mention is that while I have enjoyed these Elite Drive 45D wheels, Elite will be unfortunately discontinuing this particular depth in favor of a new 65 millimeter depth wheel. So this means that the drive line of wheels will be available only in the 40, 50, and 65 millimeter depth wheels. No more 45. Moving on to the specs here, guys. Now, like I said, these are the drive 45D wheels here. The retail price on these is 11.89 USD. The rim depth is, of course, 45 millimeters deep. The internal width is 21 millimeters, which means you can run a wider um, wheel set here, tires here. Uh, external width is 28 millimeters, uh, ceramic bearings, we have carbon spokes, four paw hub, all that good stuff, yada, yada, yada. Alrighty, let's go ahead and do a real world weight test on these Elite Drive 45 millimeter depth wheels. Now I am gonna compare these wheels strictly about weight to some of the other brands out there. And this weight test in comparison is gonna be completely irrespective of these other brands' uh, customer service, perceived quality and performance of the wheels. Oh yeah, shout out to Roger Trotman. Computer love. All right, let's get that cracking. So first off, we're going to weigh the front wheel. Front wheel on these Elite Drive 45 millimeter depth wheels comes in at 579 grams. As you guys can see right there, 570, well, 579 grams for the front wheel. Next up, we will do the rear wheel. Rear wheel comes in at 709 grams so 709 grams gives us a grand total for these wheels at 1288 grams which is extremely light for a 45 millimeter depth wheel now just for comparison's sake um the far sports von 2 c wheels that i reviewed a couple of months ago those came in at the same depth i had a weight at about uh 
65 or 70 grams heavier than these. And uh, as far as the Windspace Hyper wheels, um, the closest depth they have to these is their 50 uh, millimeter depth wheels. And those came in according to the website because I've only compared the 65 millimeter depth. I haven't used the 50s yet. But the 50 millimeter depth of the Windspace wheels, according to the website, come in at about 160 to 170 grams heavier than these wheels. So I have to say for just weight alone, not comparing anything else to these other brands, that these wheels are extremely lightweight for the depth. So let's continue. Now, the wheels themselves, uh, when they came shipped to me, um, the wheels come with tubeless valves and tubeless rim tape, which you will need to install on the rim, regardless of whether or not you are running tubeless. Because if you don't, then the air pressure from inside the tire will basically pull and stretch the inner tube within the openings of the spoke holes, which obviously you don't want because that's gonna cause a puncture. That's no good here. Also, another thing I do wanna mention is that for the rear uh, wheel, you will need to use a center lock ring with an external spline similar to the Shimano XT M8010 in order to install the rear disc rotor because um, the way that the rear hub is designed um, it sticks out too far in order to tighten the rotor with a traditional or standard uh, center lock ring. Now speaking of the hubs here I do want to talk about the front hub and um, the potential for loose or play in the hub because this has been a topic of contention for Elite Wheels for the past couple of months here. Now with the current boom of Chinese brands being sold in the western world there is a tendency for some of these brands to attempt to capitalize and subsequently rush a new product to the market without fully engineering or testing the products before their release and in my opinion this is a big problem and so so I just hope that Elite Wheels is offering a free replacement wheels for those affected by the potential front hub issue. Because for independent dealers out there, especially for dealers that are just starting out, keeping an inventory of wheels, of course, as you guys can imagine, is pretty expensive. So in order for these dealers to continue to support brands like Elite Wheels, the dealers should not be on the hook for replacement wheels since it's obviously not their fault. Now, with all that being said here, my front hub does have a little bit of play after about 300 kilometers. Um, and I believe that the root cause of this issue, from what I understand, is basically there is a, a tolerance difference between the hub body and the bearings itself. However, the good thing is that this does not affect performance. There is no disc rub um, on the front rotor and there isn't any concern for future structural weakness. Now, since this hub design was only used on the first iteration or the first generation of Elite wheels, this is before they even had the drive line of wheels. I can't imagine that Elite um, having too many first generation wheels out there in circulation. I mean, you gotta remember that Elite wheels initially started out only selling their wheels on AliExpress here. Now, Elite wheels has told me or told the distributor that they have since resolved this play and loose hub issue with their current generation of hubs. I think they're currently on like generation three, four, or five of hubs, but just double check with your local distributor. Alrighty guys, and here is a free hub sound test for these elite drive 45 millimeter depth wheels with of course ceramic bearings and all the other good stuff, yada, yada, yada. Now, what do I actually think about the wheels here? Well, they certainly are lightweight. Um, these wheels take my uh, lightweight AveloBuild 177 frame set down to about 7.2 kilograms without pedals, which is crazy light for a budget build. Now, I've come to really appreciate the 45 millimeter depth uh, wheel for everyday riding, the ease of acceleration, and of course, the stability in the crosswinds. And I mentioned this before in previous videos. Now, if you live somewhere where there's a lot of rolling hills or on an extremely windy area, or you're just a lighter rider under, say, 70 kilograms, then I think 45 millimeter depth is the perfect uh, depth for everyday use. But since the 45 uh, D wheels are being discontinued, then I would recommend maybe the 50 D wheels over the 40 D wheels, unless climbing is in fact your main priority. I am happy to see that Elite is releasing the 65 D, the 65 millimeter depth wheel here in because here in Chicago, aero is everything. And I do prefer a deeper depth wheel versus something more shallow. Now I am running these wheels with Continental GP5000 uh, tires here with latex tube. And let me tell you guys right now, GP5000 tires with latex tubes is absolutely the way to go. Basically you're getting the comfort, 
the lower rolling resistance, the weight savings of the latex, and then with the 25C tires being more aero than 28C tires, since the rims themselves are wider than the tire itself, you basically are getting a free aerodynamic um, advantage here. Now, aesthetically, I really love the marble effect on the, on the wheels and on the carbon, especially with the glossy finish. I do kind of hope to see more brands in the future offer up wheels with the option to have a glossy finish because it just looks really cool and looks really sick here with the raw carbon um, underneath uh, the, uh, the glossiness. Now, usually I'm not even a fan of even white decals, but I think paired with my Velo Build 177, I think the white decals really stand out and it just makes the bike overall look that much cooler. Do I think that Elite Wheels um, in general are copycat or a knockoff of other companies on the market? Because I, I have heard this comment before on the forums and even online. And honestly, my personal opinion, I don't really think so. I mean, they may share some of the components or specs from the rivals, but honestly, in this price range, this price range really has gotten extremely competitive, which at the end of the day is only an awesome benefit to the customers here. Now, typically a customer at this price point is really only looking at two things. We're just looking at the price and the weight. And from that perspective, I'd say Elite Drive wheels are an excellent deal and a really good value. However, just keep in mind that once you reach a certain price threshold, especially when you start spending more than $1,000 USD for a set of wheels, in my opinion, you should also be looking at the overall long-term value of the wheels, as well as the post-sales customer support from a brand here. But overall, I don't really have any negatives to report on these wheels, especially if Elite in fact has resolved the uh, wheel hub issue. Just remember that you will need to use an external splined um, uh, center lock uh, ring for the rear uh, disc. But I think I'm just gonna leave it at that for now, guys. Um, again, a big thank you to Elite Wheels 6, the distributor of Elite Wheels for uh, Toronto, Canada, for sending me out these wheels. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm gonna check you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.